What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Finally after so long, I've actually gotten time to just sit back, relax and make a video for you guys. I have gotten a ton of questions about TCU, Texas Christian University, how I got the full scholarship there and how the process worked, my application essays and just a lot of amazing questions which I actually didn't even think about. So I've decided to make a series of videos explaining each one of them and kind of I've like segregated all the questions into specific topics and decided to make a video upon that. So for those of you who are new to my channel, consider subscribing and giving me a like button just for the YouTube algorithm. Um, I am in Zambia right now. I have actually not updated you guys. So I'm back in Zambia because of the pandemic going on, but I'll be back in America in August. TCU is currently scheduled to open in August. Even I mean, we're not having online classes yet. There are a lot of different rules which are being followed on the campus. Hopefully we can start on campus classes in August. But um, other than that, let's get into the actual topic. Um, so for those of you who are new, I, my name is Nan Javia. I went to a community college in California first and now I have transferred to Texas Christian University on a full scholarship. So it's a amazing thing. It's a unique path which many people do not take as you can see in the um, the topic of the video. It's a very unique path to get a full scholarship. Most people who do not get a full scholarship for the freshman year. I actually also applied to full scholarship to many different private universities in 2017 for the for 2018 but I did not get any full scholarships for my freshman year. So I decided to go to community college in California in Los Angeles. I went to Orange Coast College. It was much much cheaper for me to go there. I stayed there for about one and a half years. I did. I worked super hard, worked super smart, um, had a high GPA. Really important for scholarships is your GPA. And then I was offered a full scholarship to TCU. So now I'm transferring. And the most beautiful part about it is all the credits which I take at my community college have transferred to TCU. So you can literally pay less at a community college and then transfer to whatever university you want actually. For, just for the sake of like record, UC Berkeley and UCLA have a much higher transfer rate than freshman acceptance rate. Does that make sense? So if there is a much higher chance that you will get into UC Berkeley with a, as a transfer student than as a freshman. But um, so I studied, on, I'm studying on a full scholarship at TCU right now. I did not finish my associate's degree. So community colleges give something called associate's degrees. They are two year degrees, um, which you need to meet certain requirements. They are kind of like half of bachelor's degrees. Okay, they're half of bachelor's degrees, but I did not finish one because I transferred before finishing. Usually students finish their associate's degrees and then transfer to another university. But even if you do not finish, there is always a chance that you will be able to transfer to you know, uh, another university. Usually uh, Cal States, so state universities so, such as UC Berkeley, um, Cal State Fullerton or Cal State Long Beach, those state universities require you to finish the associate's degree. But I transferred to a private university. TCU is a private university. So I was not required to finish a associate's degree. Other than that, so all my units have transferred to uh, TCU, as I said. Another one perk about um, going to a community college is that you can also roll in, enroll into transfer guaranteed agreements. So when you go to a community college, um, if it's a, one of the popular community colleges like OCC, they have transfer guaranteed agreements with a lot of university. They did not have one with TCU, but hopefully in the future we might be able to get one. If you enroll, if you sign that agreement, it will tell you the, all the requirements for transferring. There is transfer guaranteed agreements with use all the Cal States, I think. I think with six UCs and a ton of private universities. I'll actually, I'm going to an make another video which is on my list about all the transfer guarantee agreements and how you can use them um, wisely. There are a lot of other ones which are not usually talked about. Those were my backup plans. 
and a lot of transfer guaranteed agreements have so in the agreement it's written that if you're accepted to that university if you meet the requirements uh, if you take the requirements at your community college then the university is dedicated to meet your entire financial needs meaning that if you if you are not able to pay for tuition and if you sign the agreement if you rec take all the community college classes which you are required to take university will give you a full scholarship if you are if you are from middle class uh, background just like me um the other ones are so there are very less full scholarships available for transfers i have met only a couple of other students who have gotten full scholarships for transferring from community college to uh, a university but it's definitely possible i mean there is something called jet can jet can cook John. no what what jet can cook scholarship i'll put it right here so this scholarship foundation gives full scholarships to a number of students not just international even domestic to transfer to their dream university and they will meet the full scholarship requirements now for transferring um usually gpa is the most important thing a little bit unlike the freshman year i mean this is what kind of i feel because in the freshman year you're kind of obliged to submit your gpa your sats um your extracurricular requirements your i don't even know a lot of volunteering activities a lot of different things but when you're transferring from a community college to a university usually the most important thing is the gpa so even if you have low high school grades don't really worry you still have time to cope up you still have time to start another life even if you have a low sat score actually i'm making another video where i explain i never even used my sat to get a full scholarship i never used my sat or toefl or ielts to get this full scholarship so i'm going to explain it like in the further video so keep on watching and also like subscribe to my channel and follow all the videos so my next thing actually here or even was no sat or no ielts i did not submit any of them so my scholarship is for four years so i have a full scholarship for four years after transferring usually students spend two years at a community college and then when they transfer to another university they will stay at an at that university for two more years to finish their bachelor's degrees so it's kind of like two plus two instead of the entire four years now instead of those two years worth of scholarship i have a four year worth of scholarship so in total i have about six years to finish oh no yeah six years to finish my entire bachelor's degrees but it's i'm not obviously i'm not going to take that much time um i'm actually changing my major at tcu i'm i was a physics major at my community college but then i'm changing to something i'll keep it a secret for another video um so i'm going to also explain how the entire process worked and whether or not changing my major affected my scholarship or not um the next thing which i realized so after going to tcu obviously i made a lot of friends and a lot of my friends are on full scholarships because of sports recruitment so tcu is a very athletic school our athletic teams are really famous and really um i don't know strong so popular so there is a lot of funding going behind sports recruitment and a lot of students who are really good at sports even back home and at their community college are being recruited to tcu on a full scholarship even from a community college so if you are interested in sports recruitment and you did not get recruited on a full scholarship for your freshman year you can always try to go to a community college or another university which you i mean which is not your number one university uh but then you can always transfer to whatever university you want as a sports recruitment student um earlier as i said that gpa matters a lot which comes down with grades i had almost perfect all a's my gpa was keep it a secret for another video so that was my i'm going to tell you about my gpa and how i think it helped me one another big 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 announcement is that if you have seen my other video about i mean other video about my italian roommate that i posted that a couple of years ago he also got a full scholarship at texas christian university so i was super sad to leave my italian roommate in california and move to texas 
But now he is moving to Texas. Yeah, my guy is moving to Texas. It's gonna be so much fun. And you should go check out our video earlier because that was a super fun video which we actually made. We were literally just sitting down and talking about our experience the first time we met. And um, it, it was just fantastic. You should just go check out. It'll, it's kind of like a really good impression of international student life when you live with people from different countries and how you actually um, understand the culture, the food, and a lot of other things. All right, so that was it for this video. Um, go check out my next video, um, which is kind of listed after this video. But do not forget to give this video a thumbs up just for the YouTube algorithm. It, it really helps me to get my videos to more students and a little get more subscribers because it motivates me. If I am not able to get more subscribers or more views, then I'm not... I don't know, it's just like, it takes so much time to make these videos and post them, so it's kind of not worth it for me um, if it's only reaching to a few people. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and also just leave a like button and comment down below what else you want to know. But then go check out my next video. Bye-bye.